Hello, I'm Sensei Alex Kogio, regular contributor for Buddhist Store Global. Thank you for joining me for this episode of The Ordinary Buddhist. The title of today's talk is Oatmeal and Slow Dharma. Before we get into that, I'll remind you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post talks in the future. Also, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that'd be great too. Cooking has always been a bit of a mystery for me. I've burnt a lot of food in my life, primarily because if a recipe called for the oven being at 300 degrees for 30 minutes, I tried to cook things faster by putting the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Naturally, that didn't work out very well. It was never hard to follow a recipe or to gather the ingredients, but the patience that was required to set the oven to the right temperature, to keep an eye on the food, to make sure it didn't boil over. These are things I struggled with in my youth. Thankfully, I've gotten a little bit better. And one of the things that helped me was oatmeal. Now, obviously there is instant oatmeal that you can pop into the microwave, but I personally prefer the old fashioned steel cut oatmeal that takes a minimum of 30 minutes in order to boil. And what's interesting about the oatmeal is that if you put it up too high, it'll boil over very quickly. And there's a huge mess all over the stove. I've cleaned it up more than once. However, if you use a low heat and allow it to simmer for the full 30 minutes, not only do you get good oatmeal, you don't get a mess. Patience and slow progress is the key to good oatmeal. It's also the key to Buddhist practice. Oftentimes, as Westerners, we want things to happen quickly. We want it right now, whether that's food, whether that's clothing, whether that's enlightenment. So we can be a bit abashed as Westerners when we go into the temple, we do the chants, the rituals, the sitting, and we feel a bit better, but we don't necessarily feel this enlightenment thing just yet. That's because the practice has been designed purposely to be a slow dharma. Like oatmeal, we have to simmer over time. If we cook too quickly, we burn out, we overflow, and then we don't make any progress. But if we're willing to sit for day after day, week after week, year after year, eventually will suddenly become done. And just like delici delicious oatmeal is wonderful to eat, if we're willing to take our time, our own spiritual realization is also wonderful and fulfilling in our life if we're willing to be patient with ourselves. The key to Buddhist practice is not so much intensity as consistency. It's better to sit for one minute every day of our lives than to sit for one hour once a month. So I'd like to invite everyone watching this to join with me in slow dharma. Take the pressure off of yourself. Don't worry about where you are in the practice. Simply sit and trust in yourself and the training. And if you keep doing it with a low heat, eventually you'll get where you're going. Amitabha.